Oh, we sure are. Farming and so much more, John. Just wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, farming, because that's what we're talking about. That's right. Farming. He's an Axel Veda. Taking over Hollywood, but still, you're staying true to your roots. Mitchell Kalinske course, is yes. looking for love on the reality TV dating show Farmer Wants a Wife, which is probably the most popular television show other than our newscast <laughs> in the WBIR newsroom yes. right now. Mitchell, you're a Knoxville native. Welcome home. Hey, thanks so much for having me. I'm honored to be here, truly. Well, you got to give us an update on your journey. Yes, so we finished. Whatever you can tell us. <laughs> yes. Of course, yes. Yeah. So we finished up filming, and now I'm sort of getting back integrated into my life. I just got my farm in September. That's part of my whole story, being a first-generation true farmer. And uh, now I'm getting to sort of settle down, do some fencing, and get ready for some cattle I plan on getting this spring. Oh. What has it been like oh. to watch it all happen yeah, back? Because you experienced it all in person, but now watching it with your friends and family. What's that been like? It's totally surreal. You know, I'm just an East Tennessee boy, you know, cowboy at heart, outdoors uh, guy. And I never thought I'd see myself on the big screen. <laughs> so being able to see these moments and share them with my friends and family, it's been so special. Are there any moments that make you cringe a little bit <laughs> when you're getting a little close to the ladies? Do you think, oh no, mom and dad are watching this too? <laughs> I've gotten to watch a lot of the episodes with my parents and yeah. it has been a little bit uncomfortable at some points. You know, you watched it together. The same yeah, there sure. you go. <laughs> but you're normally not, you know, getting to share these special moments with women with your parents. So <laughs> it's definitely a little bit strange at times. But did you walk out of the room on the lake scene? I'm just, <laughs> I just thought I'm not I'm just checking. All right, Mitchell, we are so proud of you. You're uh, my boys. Mitchell went to CAK together, played mm -hmm. football. Yes, sir. You're super talented, athletic, Thank you. musically talented, and uh, we're just so proud of you. And you know what I love about Mitchell? What you see is what you get. He's true to his heart, and uh, we're just thrilled that you can be with us today. I'm humbled to be here, truly. Yeah. What have you been hearing from people who didn't know you before this? Any f new fans? People have yeah, been reaching I'm getting, out? Yeah, I'm getting some new Facebook messages from people <laughs> that I've never met before. And most of it's been positive, but I've, you know, told everybody just um, take everything with a grain of salt. You know, you're never promised tomorrow. So truly, this is an opportunity that I was excited for and had to take. And um, don't look at any negativity in it. Well, I don't see anything negative so far. Now, we talked about this earlier. Yeah. You might be able to share just a couple of little spoilers. You said because you're home. You yeah. might share a few mm -hmm. things. That I, we might. Might. I mean, I'm talking to my people here. This is where <laughs> I'm <laughs> That's right. right. Give you're us a scoop. Home, yeah, you're no, truly, home. I feel Absolutely. right at home. And, yeah. uh, you know, East Tennessee is home. So I want to tell everybody um, I met some very special ladies on this show. And uh, they were really out there looking for love, trying to get to know me. And I was trying to get to know them. So if you tune in and watch the rest of the seasons, you might see a special love story turn out. Oh, Ooh, teaser. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Well, right now in the series, the women are still on the farm where you still have quite a few women there that are, yep. you know, taking part in all those farming activities and all of that. There's another new episode <laughs> tomorrow that. coming on at 9 on Fox. You can watch it on Fox 43 here before our 10 o'clock newscast. But uh, for this week's episode, what can people expect? Um, I got to think what this week's actually I think it's archery. Be. Okay. Is it? Okay, yeah. awesome. So I'm okay. a big bow hunter. Um, I've always been in the outdoors, whether it be, you know, riding horses with my dad growing up yeah. in Hardin so Valley. So you got that crossbow? Is that what? Is it? Well, I, I got a crossbow, but yeah. I'm more of a compound guy. Okay. Yeah, right. so, um, you know, like the Native yeah. American Jews, more yeah. historically the bow. But, um, yeah. no, I love that, you know, being outdoors and sharing this archery segment, I guess, with <laughs> the girls. You'll see there's a really special part you got to tune in and watch. Oh no, yeah, that's no, a tease. It, yeah, no, you really got to watch this. Just stand back a little bit. Me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say that the uh, apple got hit. Oh, yeah. okay. Have you been surprised or I guess even maybe disappointed in how well or not so well the ladies did on the farm when it came to farming life? Because that's what you want. You want a partner mm -hmm. who can Truly. be there doing all of those chores and everything else with you. A hundred percent. I want a woman that's going to be able to grow the farm with me and that is just as passionate about the outdoors and yes. this beautiful land that God gave us to be stewards of as I I am. This is my greatest passion to be a farmer and be an outdoorsman. So if I can find a special lady to share with, man, that'd be a true love story, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. I sure mm -hmm. think so. Well, now that you're home for, I guess, a few days or yep. I don't know how long you get to stay before you go back to the farm, what are you planning to do? What do you miss about Knoxville that you yep. want to try to get in while you're here? You know, I have some of my favorite eateries that I've hit since I was <laughs> four right. years old. I'm so sad the S&S closed down oh, yeah. there on Kingston Pike. I used to go there a lot. But yeah, definitely go back to some of my favorite restaurants, visit with friends and family and just soaking this all in. I'm just so thankful to be here. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe gotta go to Linton's or something while you're oh, yeah. or that local yeah. restaurant up the street. Yeah. Gotta ask you real quick, yes, that is, a John, is that a John Deere tractor? It here? is a John Deere, that's John Deere Green. <laughs> Folks, success right here. <laughs> that's a John Deere, that's awesome. Thank you, sir. Yeah.
Well, thank you so much, Mitchell, for being with us. And again, thank as Katie you. mentioned, your next episode tomorrow night at 9 yep. on Fox 43. You can watch it right there. Well, we watch it here at Channel 10. Thank you. Oh, yes. Every we week. got to have a recap afterward. <laughs> Get a big right. bowl of popcorn. Sit down <laughs> and enjoy the show. Mitchell, you got some huge fans here. Oh. Just throwing that out. I'm a big fan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the feeling's mutual, folks. <laughs> there you go. All right. I think Todd actually has to do some of our forecasts. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Okay. The weather. Good Thanks, job, Mitchell. Sir. All right. Take care, brother. <laughs> Let's you, talk about the weather.